Hey, what is going on everybody? So today I have a comparison for you between two Zero Lemon battery cases. One is 4,000 milliamp, the other is 8,000 milliamp. Also the 4,000 milliamp battery case, you can charge this wirelessly as well. The 8,000 you cannot. Now the 8,000 versus the 4,000 milliamp is obviously gonna be a lot thicker. And, and to insert the iPhone X and take it out, it's a little bit different on each of these cases here. Also, both of these cases come with a USB type C cable here. If you look on the bottom here, you can see the connector is USB type C. They are both data sync, so you were able to transfer your photos and videos directly to your computer using this case. Now with this 4,000 milliamp battery pack here, of course, like I said, you can charge this wirelessly, but you can also use the cable if you wish. So let's go ahead and do this first. Let me go ahead and put my iPhone X into this 4,000 milliamp battery case here. And simply how you do that, you just basically pop this side off, this top part like that. And then we can go ahead and slide the iPhone X in like that. Let's go ahead and grab the top piece here push it down and you're ready to rock and roll. Now, like I said, this is capable of wirelessly charging. So here's my wireless Qi pad here. Just pop that on there. And you can see that it is charging wirelessly. Now taking a closer look at the case here, of course the camera cutout is nice. It's kind of deep right here on the sides. And we have a power button here. If I wanted to check how much juice I have left in this battery case, I just basically just press it once like that. And, and it's giving me one light out of four possible LED lights. So I know that I have between zero to 25% juice left on this battery case. Now, if I actually wanted to turn this on so it would charge my phone, I would have to press and hold for two to three seconds. I just felt my phone vibrate and my iPhone X is now charging. So look on the bottom here, we have the USB type C connector. And in the front, you can see the two speaker holes right here. On the right side, the power button is enclosed. And on the left side, we have the volume rockers here that are enclosed except for the mute button here. And of course, there's nothing like on the top or anything like that. And I'll give you a quick comparison again between these two battery cases. Again, you can see how much thicker the 8,000 milliamp battery case is compared to the uh, 4,000. So let's go ahead and move on to the 8,000 milliamp battery case here. Now, in order for me to take this out, of the 4,000 milliamp battery case. Let's go ahead and the same thing. Just go ahead and pop that up like that. Let's go ahead and slide your iPhone X out like that. And now moving on to the 8,000 milliamp battery case here. Now this one does not have wireless charging capabilities like this one does, okay? And the first thing is, let me go ahead and show you how to put this in. So basically you wanna put this in, you can just go ahead and pop this bottom connector off. And you can see it's soft rubbery TPU all in here as well, except you have this battery in here too, okay? So let me go ahead and just slide my iPhone X in here, just like that. Then you wanna go ahead and grab this little connector piece right down here and just push it in and you're ready to rock and roll. Now looking at this case here in the front, you can see that you have the two speaker cutouts right here. The right side, we have a closed power button and the buttons are easy to push on these as well. If you look on the bottom here, we can see the USB type C charging port also, there's a speaker opening down here as well. So there's two of them, two up here and two on the bottom. If you look on the left side, we can see both of the volume rockers up and down are covered, except for the mute button here. Nothing on top, but you can kind of see how it's brazed here a little bit. And looking on the back here, we can see the uh, Zero Lemon logo, pretty much similar to this one here. And you have the power button here. And it's the same thing. If you want to check how much juice you have on here, just tap once. I have three LED lights in, instead of four, so I know I have between 50 to 75% juice left on here. And if I wanted to go ahead and start charging my iPhone X up, I will simply press and hold this for two, three seconds. I just felt it vibrate, and now you can see it's charging. So there you go, just a very quick and easy video comparison between these two if you're trying to decide which one of these you wanna get. Let me just show you one more time the thickness of it. So again, this is a 4,000, this is an 8,000. So basically two of these make up one of these. And both of these, the buttons and everything work with ease. The only thing is because both of these are USB type C, there's really no way to use your 
earbuds that come with your iPhone, like the one with the lightning adapter, or even if you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, there's no way you're going to be able to use these headphones or earphones. So again, there you guys go. Hope you found this comparison informative and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.